Hey guys, it's Anime Hound here uh, with my cat sipping on my keyboard. Um, I am sick as a dog, though I went to the sneak peek today. Uh, there's a couple things I want to ask you guys at the end of this video. And uh, first one is pertaining to the deck that I'm about to put before you. The second one's about the sneak peek today. <coughs> I, I'm sorry uh, about how I sound, but uh, I'm going to go over my Alchemic Monarchs before my voice decides to go out completely. And then I'll get to my questions. So, this is the deck I'm going to be running from now on. Uh, the Glads are officially retired for now. Uh, I'm also working on my uh, Gravekeepers, because uh, from what I heard, there were several Gravekeeper decks that were getting really high up in the rankings at the Shonen Jump. So, uh, that's, a de that's a deck that I've been supporting for a long time, and I'd like to actually get it going again, so that'll come in the future. So, we'll get started with this. One Gors. One Light and Darkness Dragon. One Chaos Sorcerer. One Cyber Dragon. One Sangan. One Plague Spreader Zombie. The Heart of my new Monarch deck. Three dimensional alchemist. Uh, send the top card of your deck to remove uh, and remove it from the game. This card becomes an 1800 beat stick, gains 500 attack. Uh, when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, take a monster that's been removed from play and add it back to your hand. So I get to reuse the next card, which is Triple Battle Fader. This card makes a huge nuisance out of itself. Um, I am tech to borrowing one of these right now. Uh, if anybody has a battle fader for trade, uh, ultra rare specifically, um, <coughs> I will be happy to work something out with you guys. Um, I needed to complete the deck com uh, entirely. It's the only card that I'm missing. So uh, hit me up. I will have my trade binder up soon enough. Um, the Dimensional Alchemist brings them back, brings back Plague when he's been removed from the game after using his effects, so on and so forth. I also run Triple Caius, because he's just awesome in this format. One Ryza, uh, subject to change with the Light and Darkness Dragon, I don't know. One of my favorite Monarchs, to Thestalos, love hitting the hand. That just like can really hurt the opponent uh, just draining resources two dandelions because with him bumped up to two he becomes awesome because I can use his tokens for draw power with my two cyber valleys and treeborn frog at one uh, if anybody has an ultra rare or an ultimate uh, talk to me I uh, want it work something out those are the monsters I move on to spells. We got two econs. With the amount of dandy tokens I got in there, uh, it might it pays off to have those because then you can sack off the the token to take control of a monster. It saves you a lot of grief from uh, an oncoming attack. Two soul exchange. That's subject to change. I'm thinking about dropping it to one. One one for one. Shiny shiny. One brain control. One MST. One premature burial. Again, if somebody is willing to trade, I need a hollow version of this. I want to get this deck blinged out. One pot of avarice. Because I do go through monsters fast enough if I don't get my alchemists. And uh, I do need the recursion and extra draw, uh, the, the recycling and extra draw power. One allure because I've run out more than enough darks to support it. And heavy storm. Now, we got two Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Uh, great fodder uh, if I have Dandelion. Good way to get Plague into the grave. Uh, great way to get Treeborn into the grave. Just an awesome, uh, you know, send the card back to the top of the deck. Or is it top of the deck? Yeah, top of the deck. And really, really just slows the opponent down. Two bottomless trap holes. Standard, pretty much. Uh, mirror force and Twitch tribute. Standard, pretty much. Standard. And solemn judgment. Now the standard. Now that's the main deck. 
I will now move on to my extra. Two Stardust Dragon, standard. One Black Rose, standard. Ancient Fairy, because I can. One Bryanek, because he's awesome. One Cataster, because he's awesome. One Urbellum, because he's awesome in the right circumstance. And because I can. One Red Dragon Archfiend, because he does have his uses. I'm move my cat. <coughs> This is a personal choice. I like this card. 100 Eyes Dragon. Um, 3000 Beater with the ability to copy a level 6 or lower dark type monster's effect that's in the graveyard. Um, not many targets come to mind in this deck because I do not have a lot of them other than Chaos Sorcerer. <laughs> Which is pretty awesome in and of itself, but if I find a way to add play, I mean, uh, Gale the Whirlwind and whatnot in here, um, he can copy Gale's effect, have the monster, and then majorly attack over it, so he's freaking awesome. I've also got six more of these coming in, so if anybody wants them now that the Infernities are going to be out, they make sweet, sweet love to this guy. He's a level eight. Uh, one Dark Tuner and one or more non-Dark Tuner Fiend types. Believe me, the Infernities will love him. One Goyo. One Colossal. One Magical Android. One Gaianite. One Mistworm. And one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. They gave her those pesky, pesky machinists. And now for the side deck. One Grand Mole because of all the setting. Great to bounce cards back. Especially those Synchro Monsters. <laughs> bounce them back. One DD Crow. Two Juju's for the Anti Meta Flare. Two Normal Meta Cross. I don't figure out a way to main one of them because he's just that freaking awesome in this format. One Brain. One Mind Control. One Dust Tornado. Hello. Two light imprisoning mirrors. Hi, Dad. Two regular trap holes. Two tuner schemes. Uh, just running this in my uh, glads really mess with my opponent. Uh, they play any card, especially against Synchro Cat, uh, Flame Bell Cat, any form of like really quick synchroing decks. Um, this card aids in stopping them. Flip. Get control of the tuner. It's just ridiculously awesome when pulled off. Though there is a card that's out now in Shining Darkness that I will consider. Um, and one Royal Oppression. Uh, this, this deck can easily side out to accommodate for Royal Oppression. Uh, getting rid of a lot of the special summoning monsters. And uh, going for a more natural approach with Tribute Summoning. And now I will go on to the card that I'm thinking about running after Tuner Scheme. And I'm really beginning to sound real bad, so I'm going to cut this short. Uh, intercept Wave. All Synchro Monsters on the field to change the defense position. And then return all face-up Synchro Monsters to the, t to the extra deck during the end phase. So you're basically stopping any attacks, sending them back at the end, at the end of the turn. And it's a quick play. So that actually stops Starlight Road, which is freaking awesome. Now... So my two questions. I want to know what you think about this. Give me fixes, what you think I should put in, take out, so on and so forth. And second has to do with the sneak peek today. Um, they wouldn't let me buy more than one set. I wanted to enter several times so that I could get more than five packs in just the one Bogart night. Um, which I do have available tr for trade, so if you, uh, if you want it, make me an offer, ultra rare. Um, they wouldn't let me buy more than one, so I want you guys to let me know if they've been doing the same to you at the sneak peeks. Just leave a message at the bottom. This is Anime Hound. Out.